On October 24, 2024, the U.S. Department of State announced the approval of a potential foreign military sale of TOW-2A and TOW-2B missiles to Saudi Arabia, valued at approximately $440 million. This significant agreement not only encompasses the sale of 1,014 TOW missiles, but also includes a comprehensive package of logistical and technical support services aimed at enhancing the kingdom's defense capabilities against current and emerging threats. The proposed sale, notified to Congress by the Defense Security Cooperation Agency, DSCA, signifies a new chapter in military cooperation between the United States and its strategic Gulf partner. The missile acquisition involves 507 units each of the TOW-2A, BGM-71E-4BRF, and TOW-2B, BGM-71F-3RF, both of which are radio-frequency-guided, tube-launched anti-tank systems. Developed by RTX Corporation, formerly Raytheon, these high-precision weapons are designed to provide advanced firepower against armored threats. To validate the effectiveness of these systems, the agreement includes 14 flight by missiles, further reinforcing Saudi Arabia's confidence in the capabilities being supplied. The TOW-2A and TOW-2B missiles represent the latest advancements in the TOW anti-tank system, renowned for their long-range accuracy and devastating strike power. The TOW-2A, optimized for direct attacks, is adept at engaging heavily armored targets, while the TOW-2B executes top-down strikes, targeting vulnerable areas of armored vehicles. Both missile variants are compatible with various launchers, including those mounted on Stryker, Bradley, and EDA's HMMWV vehicles offering significant flexibility across different combat scenarios. Equipped with powerful warheads, these missiles are capable of penetrating advanced armor while maintaining resilience against enemy countermeasures. Their proven effectiveness in high-intensity conflict zones has made them a valuable asset for over 40 armed forces worldwide, enhancing capabilities in both defensive and support roles. In addition to the missiles, the proposed sale includes a range of supporting equipment and services. This encompasses test devices, simulators, generators, integration support, spare parts, communication tools, software support, technical publications, personnel training, and engineering services. Such a comprehensive support package is designed to facilitate the smooth integration of these advanced systems into Saudi Arabia's armed forces, which already operate similar platforms. The U.S. views Saudi Arabia as a stabilizing force in the Gulf and enhancing its defense capabilities aligns with Washington's broader regional security strategy. This military support aims to bolster the kingdom's defense without disrupting the regional military balance, furthering U.S. foreign policy objectives in the Middle East. RTX Corporation, headquartered in Tucson, Arizona, has been designated as the main contractor for the sale, which may include an offset agreement aimed at benefiting Saudi Arabia through investments or technology transfers. Such agreements, often negotiated directly between the purchasing country and the contractor, could aid in developing local defense industrial capacities. Importantly, the implementation of this sale will not require additional U.S. government or contractor representatives in Saudi Arabia, ensuring that delivery and integration can proceed without affecting U.S. defense readiness. The figures reflected in the notification represent maximum estimates, with a final cost potentially adjusted downward based on specific needs defined during negotiations. The approval of the tow missile sale to Saudi Arabia underscores the U.S. commitment to supporting its Middle Eastern allies through advanced military equipment to counter both current and emerging threats. As a proven anti-armor system, the tow missiles provide a robust solution against armored threats, fortifying Saudi Arabia's defense capabilities and addressing the complex security dynamics of the region. For further inquiries regarding this sale, officials and the public are encouraged to contact the State Department's Bureau of Political Military Affairs.